What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another My name is Jeff. Reacts, and welcome back to your 80s day. Today's request comes from Lori, as usual. Lori, you wanted me to do Warrant Heaven. It's been a while since I've done a Warrant song. I'm honestly pumped. 80s days are always fun. And yes, if you can't tell, my voice is a little off. I probably sound a little congested. I'm still not feeling the best right now. Not even just up here, just actually here. Like, I, I don't know what the heck I got, but I'm gonna fight through it. I wanna get this video done. I'm pumped. I seriously, I, I wanna stay on track as best I can. I hope you guys are having a good day. And if not, I hope I can bring some sort of positive light to your day. Cause guys, whatever's going on for you, whatever it may be, just remember that you are not alone. You are never alone. You're a warrior, you're a soldier. Stay strong, I believe in you. And if you need it, the comments are there for you to vent, or you can DM me personally on my socials. But you do got this. Bro fist, high five, he's, you got this. Check the links in my description, you won't regret it. Let's dive into this. I got a picture of your house. I don't recall ever seeing them in color before. That's crazy. slice the dice and pies right here okay so you see a song called heaven there's so many different things you can think about like either this person that you're in love with makes you feel like you're in heaven maybe you got drunk and you feel like you're in heaven or it's actually talking about someone that you loved that passed and it seems very clear to me that the song is actually about a person that passed and there's actually lyrics in the description for a change holy crap i will get to those in just a minute but I'm definitely already getting the sense that it's about someone he uh, loved and lost. Also, seriously, if you didn't hear me before, the last music video that I did was I Saw Red. I'm used to them being in black and white. I can't believe I'm actually getting to see his face or like their faces like in true color. I'm surprised. I mean, it's awesome. I'm just honestly surprised. I, want, I keep waiting to see if that like girl that they have in the music video is going to become in color too but maybe not maybe some things are just meant to stay in black and white like it's one of those that just transitions in and i don't know it's a good music video anyway i can't speak let's just get back into it Closer to it 
No way, I gotta pause real quick. Probably the worst time I, I've ever, ever paused, but seriously, I am loving just this entire music video. Like, them does sound repetitive as absolutely ever, but seriously, just the old for, fashioned format, like just the 80s style format to this is incredible. Like, I know they're more or less an 80s band, but when was this song actually released? Does it have a copyright thing? Show me, show me, show me. It's got to be in here. So oh, that hurts. It was uploaded in 2009, but this is not a 2009 song, I know. Really? I'll have to Google it in a second. I just, I love the feel. I love the format. I love just the, the hairband thing. Like, if this was even a few years ago, I would have made fun of that for sure. But, I mean, I, mean, I suppose you could still technically make fun of the hairband thing, but, like, just the music is good. And honestly, I really like the... I say old-fashioned, and 80s isn't really that old. I know a lot of people who are in the, who are born in the 80s that aren't even that much older than me. And that's actually a fact. Like, that's seriously, they're not much older than me, and they were born in the 80s. I was born in the 90s. 80s considered old-fashioned. Let's just get back into it. Is that a breakfast club thing? Get the breakfast club thing going. Or I want to dive straight into these lyrics. I've got a picture of your horse and you're standing by the door. And it's black and white and faded and it's looking pretty worn. See the factory that I've worked silhouetted in the back. The memories are great but man they're really coming back. I don't need to be the king of the world as long as I'm the hero of this little girl. Heaven isn't too far away, closer to it every day, no matter what your friends might say. How I love the way you move and the sparkle in your eyes. There's a color deep inside them like blue suburban skies. When I come home late at night and you're in bed asleep, I wrap my arms around you so I can feel you breathe. Okay, so they do cut the lyrics off in the description. I'm surprised they don't do more. I don't need to be a Superman as long as you will always be my biggest fan. Heaven isn't too far away, closer to it every day. Paraphrasing, now the lights are going out along the boulevard, memories are coming rushing back. Now the lights are going out along the boulevard, memories come rushing back and it makes it pretty hard. I've got a, I've got nowhere left to go and no one really cares, I don't know what to do. I've never given up on you. And then the chorus a couple more times, heaven isn't too far away, closer to it every day, no matter what your friends might say. So I would just say talking about someone that passed away. Basically, the very first verse is essentially talking about looking at the soul picture that you have of the person that you love, standing next to her horse next to this old place, and just the memories come rushing back, and maybe not even looking at a picture, but you're just driving around and you just happen to pass that spot that makes that memory flash through your head, you know, just, just the little things in life that just make those memories pop out, and especially if someone is actually gone from your life, like you treasured that time that person so much family friend loved one like significant other like you treasured that time with that person and maybe it's been a while but just something something little just anything comes up and it flashes that memory back in your head and you just miss them so much and you just want to see them again and you can't 
I mean, you will someday, but not right now, and it sucks. Okay, so Song Facts is actually not loading right now. This sucks. Or Song Tell. Give me a Song Tell. Heaven by Horton is a love song that expresses deep emotional connections and devotion between two individuals. The protagonist is narrating his love for his partner, expressing his admiration for her sparkle in her eyes and the color deep inside them. The memories of his past are also shown to be significant to the protagonist as he recalls his past experiences at the factory, which were turning gray at the time. Despite the lack of importance given to per previous successes, he is content with being the hero of his partner's world and holding her tightly at night. The chorus, of the, key, the chorus is the key message in the song, stating that, stating that heaven is not too far away and every day spent together feels brings the protagonist closer. The opinions of others are insignificant and the protagonist believes that they will find a way to keep their love alive. The outro repeats the chorus, reinforcing the idea. Overall, this song is a beautiful portrayal of love. The song is a beautiful portrayal of deep, selfless love, highlighting the importance of cherishing one's partner. So it is a love song. It's not about missing someone that's no longer there. It, it, my first guess for once would have been right that it's actually a love song and it's dedicated to just that overwhelming rush, that just awesome feeling of just being in love, head over heels with someone. And just, it's you two against the world. Never mind what anybody says or does. There's always gonna be the naysayers. There's always gonna be somebody that has something to say about your relationship, what you do to do with your lives. And honestly, advice from time to time, if you really need it, is fine. But unwarranted, like somebody just coming in, hey, you guys really shouldn't do that, or you know, you two really should try this. It's un you know, you, you don't need to listen to the world. Do what you're gonna do. There, there, there's some people that just know how to overstep their boundaries when they don't need to. They feel like they need to give you that advice, but it's just no, you, you don't need to. I'm talking out my butt at this point, but it is a love song, and I, th and it is so beautiful and the guitar's good the drums good he, he's got a really good voice i'm still really surprised to see it go from gray or black and white to color for a change that's cool you don't really see that too often i mean it every now and then but not all the time and i really like the transition that they did these guys are good man like i need to listen to more of them come on Lori, what else you got for me you only sent me a few of their songs, or a couple actually. I'm gonna shout out from there. You guys in the comments, you let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, remember, my name is Jeff. Pef Junkies Unite. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Love, peace, and chicken grease. You guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic night.